Hello everyone, this is Gamo Edits and welcome back for another YouTube video. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you 5 tips and tricks that you can use to make your presentation engaging, polished, and effective. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone looking to improve their presentation skills, then these tips will help you to take your presentations to the next level. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. For tips and tricks, number one is the slide zoom, which is basically one of my favorite feature in Microsoft PowerPoint. So I have here three slides that we'll be going to use for this feature. So the first thing you need to do is to create a blank slide. So we will move this as the first slide and make sure it is a blank slide. So this will serve as our dashboard slide where the slide zoom will happen. So the next thing you need to do is Click the insert tab, click the zoom, and then slide zoom, and then select the slides you want to use. For example, these three slides, and then I'll click the insert, and then make sure to lay out them accordingly in your slide. After that, I will click this preview so we can see. So once I click this, it will slide zoom to that slide this one and into this last slide another feature that is very nice about this is that we can represent this slide through an image so i'll be using this astronaut image or the image that will represent that slide i will just click the slide and under the zoom tab i will click the change image then i will select a picture that will represent that slide let's say this astronaut png image so i will adjust this i will click this and remove the outline under the zoom tab click that icon zoom and then remove the border we will do the same for the other slides by representing a png icon that will represent that slide so whenever we click these icons it will slide zoom to that slide after that we can adjust or lay out this PNG icons or transparent background icons and design it accordingly according to your preference. Now let's add some additional shapes for additional design. Let's say the circle. So I will remove the fill and I will just add the shape outline or the shape, the circled outline shape which is basically a color white. I will copy that and apply it to other icons or PNG images. Adjust it accordingly according to your preference. And I will move this here. And now I will move this, adjust. That's Good. Now let's see the preview, the final preview for this. Once I click this astronaut slide or astronaut picture, it will slide zoom to that slide, the UFO, and the moon. By using this feature, you can create a well-organized presentation that allows your audience to easily navigate to the most relevant sections and slides. And now for the tips and tricks number two, which is my favorite transition, morph transition. So I have here a Japan themed presentation slides. We have the Mount Fuji and a red circled shape which represent the Japan flag. So I will select the title for this. So let's say Japan. So I will choose the font Railway Black and adjust the size. Let's make it bigger. Now we will change the color into white, but first let's adjust it to the center. Let's change it to white and click send to the back. We will copy this once again and then paste. This time under the shape format, we will remove the text fill to none. And we will left it with a outline or the text outline. and then perfectly align it to the text we just added earlier so here is the text now in order for us to apply the morph transition let us first duplicate the slide 
after duplicating the slide we can move this text upwards so the exit for the text will be in this direction once we shift from the slide 1 to the slide 2 and after that we can arrange or resize the elements in the second slide including this Mount Fuji so let me adjust this slide or this picture make it bigger move it to the left side as well as this circled shape and after that we can adjust it as well again and we can now add some additional text or design if you want so I have here a Mount Fuji text and some introduction I'm using the same font but just the outline I'm also using the Montserrat font for the description and now selecting both slides we will apply the morph transition or just apply to all and let's see the preview so that's how morph transition works in Microsoft PowerPoint we will duplicate it once again and adjust the text and elements again this time we can remove that Japan text title since it is not involved in the second slide and third slide and for the Mount Fuji we move that upwards and this time the circled shape and the Mount Fuji we move it to the right side of the slide we can also add some additional slides or additional design such as the text and that cherry blossom flower now to make the transition more dynamic we will copy these two elements the cherry blossom and text to the previous slide we will move the cherry blossom upwards and the text to the left we did that so that the direction of the cherry blossom will come from the top and the text from the left side whenever we shift from the slide 2 to the slide 3 using the morph transition we will duplicate the slide again for our outro or our thank you card so we can remove these elements including the text and that cherry blossom image and then we can readjust, rearrange, or resize the elements in our slide including the Mount Fuji image and this red circled shape and I just added that Visit Japan text I will copy that text to the previous slide for the entrance effect so I will move it upwards or maybe downwards let's try it downwards so the text will come from that direction whenever we shift from slide 3 to the slide 4 so here's the preview now I think I can rearrange this Mount Fuji to the top bring it to the front and that's perfect so here's the final preview for this morph transition tips and tricks Morph transition allows us to create dynamic and smooth transitions from one slide to another. I also have a detailed video available in the description if you want to learn the best way on how to use the morph transition. And now for my third tip which is about making a great first impression. As a content creator who primarily uses PowerPoint presentations, I often share my work via email. However, I've noticed that my presentations tend to lose their formatting, layout, and animations when I do this as they are typically only present in Microsoft PowerPoint. That is why I'm excited to introduce you to Issue, a powerful website that can convert your documents into a realistic and shareable flipbook format. Whenever I need to share my presentation, I first save it as a PDF file and then upload it to Issue to create a visually engaging flipbook. This helps me make a great first impression and grab my audience's attention from the start. You can get started with Issue for free or sign up for an annual premium account and receive a 25% discount by using the promo code GEMOEDITS25 when you click the link in the description. If you're interested in learning more, I've also created a detailed video about Issue that you might find helpful in spicing up your content creation. And now for the tips and tricks number four, we have the hyperlink. So I have here four slides. For the slide one, we have the goals, topic, and examples. And these three icons below that represent that icons. 
so I have this icon which is basically from Microsoft PowerPoint you can insert that under the insert tab and then the icons and now to add hyperlink so this one the target when I click that icon it will land to slide 2 so to do that I will click that icon and under the insert tab I will click the link and click the place in this document and select slide 2 since that is my target whenever I click this icon so I will click this slide 2 and hit the OK another way of doing that is by right clicking the icon and then click the link and place in this document and this time we will click the slide 3 we will also apply it to the last icon right click link place in this document and then slide 4 so here is the preview once I click this it will go to slide 2 so when I click this it will go to slide 3 the only problem is that we can't go back to the dashboard slide or the slide 1 that is why I added here an home icon which is the key or our way to go back to slide 1 all we need to do is to apply a hyperlink to slide 1 so under the insert tab link and then place in this document and we will click slide 1 we will do the same to other slides apply the hyperlink to slide 1 for the home icon now we can navigate from slide to slide using the hyperlink function we can click this elements and go back to our dashboard slide which is basically the slide 1 and we can also apply some transition so let's apply the zoom effect so this is a great way or a great alternative if you don't have a zoom transition or the slide zoom feature in your PowerPoint as you notice I applied opposite direction for the zoom transition for our main dashboard and for these three slides we can also apply hyperlink to web pages so for example I will hyperlink this website of NASA to my presentation I will just copy the link and go back to my presentation proper then I will click the text and while clicking the text I will click the insert tab and then link and click the existing web page or existing file or web page and then paste the web page link and then click OK so whenever we click this it will go to that link so here is the final output for this hyperlink tips and tricks so we can navigate from slide to slide using this hyperlink feature we can also hyperlink from web pages as you notice it is working fine for the last tips and tricks we have the merge shapes when creating presentations in Microsoft PowerPoint, you might find that the built-in or default shapes don't quite fit the picture you have in mind. Fortunately, the Merge Shapes feature allows you to combine shapes to create custom shapes that better suit your needs. There are several options under the Merge Shapes feature in PowerPoint, including Union, Combine, Fragment, Intersect, and Subtract. So I have two circles to demonstrate the differences for that. Union merges two or more shapes into a single shape. Now let's try the combine, which separates the overlapping portions of shapes into separate shapes. So as you notice, it looks like there is a hole between these two circles. And after that is the fragment. Fragment merges shapes into a non-destructive way allowing you to edit the individual shapes later while retaining the combined shape. Using this option, you can clearly edit the shapes later on. And let me just control Z so I can show you the other options. Now let's try the intersect merge shape option. So intersect option creates a new shape that overlaps the original shapes from the word itself it retains the part where the two shapes intersect 
and lastly is the subtract which creates a new shape by subtracting one shape from another so the logic behind the subtract merge shape is that the first shape you select is the reference shape which will be retained while the last shape will act as the knife or scissors that will cut out from the reference shape so here is the example for that and let me control plus Z and now this time we will select this green shape first followed by the white so that's how the subtract merge shape works so here is the summary for the merge shape options for the union intersect fragment subtract and combine and that's it for today's video I hope this five tips and tricks including slide zoom morph issue hyperlink and merge shape will be helpful for you in creating your next presentation once again this is gamo edits and thank you for watching